Just got home from work, and uh, it's the day before Halloween, October 30th, and look what's happening outside. Yes, that is snow. Very first snow of the year. Hopefully, I see something that looks just like him come chasing a doe by tonight. We're gonna get this camera set right. We're gonna get our things together, head for the woods. I'll see you once we get there. Okay, everybody, we made it to the tree. I'm set up right along the gator path in here. This is all super thick bedding down in here and I've got pictures of two of my big bucks down in here this past week so fingers crossed they're going to be up on their feet uh, checking these bedding areas. The weather is finally broke. We're going to get some, uh, well it's already really cold. Uh, it's not going to be raining or snowing or anything here for the rest of the evening it looks like according to the radar so we got a wind. So, looking forward to tonight. Hopefully, we see some some deer. Oh, it just had a nice eight point cruise by, came from the Gator Pass straight behind me. It was a nice buck, but not one that I would shoot. There's a couple bigger ones than him in here. That one kind of took me off guard. He was actually walking right through my shooting lane when I first saw him, which is too late. You gotta see him before they get to that point. So I'm going to kind of keep my eye over there right where he came through. Maybe one of the maybe one of the shooters will do the same thing here. That's probably the the uh, biggest buck I've had cruise by so far in the past couple of weeks. So, it's a good sign. I just had a buddy of mine text me and say that he shot a really good deer. So, uh I'm looking forward to checking that out. We'll check that out after the hunt this evening, but he said it's absolutely huge. So, I haven't got a picture of it yet, but if he's saying it's the biggest of the big ones, it's big. So, I'm looking forward to checking that out. From the, man, no matter what angle you put him at, he's awesome. <laughs> That's really cool. Man, it's gonna be a hard one to beat. We got a score on him, he scored 144 inches. That is one whale of a West New York buck right there. That's what they look like, I'm not seeing them yet, but hopefully at some point I will.
Well, that's going to conclude our morning set. I, uh, all I saw were a few doe. Pretty slow morning, really, for, you know, having such great conditions. I'm going to grab a few uh, camera cards and we'll see what's on these cards and uh, try to devise a plan for this evening hunt, depending on what's on these trail cameras. So we'll see. Okay, everybody. It is the evening of October 31st. Happy Halloween. I'm set up right off this hillside. This morning when I was checking cameras, I came in and checked this camera they have on this hanging vine scrape right here. Sure enough, I walked in the woods, bumped the doe that was bedded right there. I'll be darned, but if it wasn't, Hulk stood up right there next to her. The doe took off running. She seen me for sure. And then Hulk was right on her, took off down this hill right with her, and they ran right through, right under this tree stand right here. And uh, I snuck down and checked this camera, and sure enough, I got Hulk chasing that doe all over heck in here last night, late last night. So, I'm just hoping that that doe comes back up through here tonight and he's on her, he left her and is going to be out seeking uh, another one. I know that he was here this morning, so we're in a good spot knowing that. Fingers crossed, we'll turn you on when something happens. of a really nice buck. He was walking this ridge line to my right over here about 150 yards from right to left going that way. I could just see him for a couple short openings in the woods, but there's no doubt it was a mature buck. I just rattled and grunted and stuff to see if I could bring him up here, but Last I seen he was walking that way. Hopefully he comes back around here.
Okay, everybody, I'm back at the house. I wanted to uh, recap the hunt a little bit. I know I did a terrible job getting any footage on this one. Uh, it just so happened that all the action was on the opposite side of the tree on the ridge line uh, than where I had my camera. And I just got little glimpses of these bucks. I couldn't see them good at all. So uh, sorry for that. But overall, I ended up seeing two deer. Possibly it was the same one. Uh, it was definitely a really nice buck. His big mature body on it. I could see a good beam uh, on the one side. And like I said, I'd just seen him for a split second and then uh, I rattled right, at, right before last light and he came back up over that ridge top and I watched him walk the edge of that ridge top and then uh, kind of disappear again. He, he was walking to get downwind of the rattling for sure. He came up, couldn't see anything, uh, and then he started walking parallel along that ridge until he was straight downwind of me trying to get wind of you know whatever bucks were up there uh, supposedly fighting and of course uh, he just disappeared over that hill and I never seen him again so I kind of have an idea of where they're coming from and uh, I think I'm going to get a little bit mobile tomorrow and get down there where I seen them so uh, stick with me and I uh, can't wait to show you the next hunt hopefully it's something successful Take it easy, everybody. I hope your season's going good so far.